In a tragic turn of events that has sent shockwaves across Slovakia and beyond, Prime Minister Robert Fico was critically injured in a shooting incident that unfolded in Handlova, a town located northeast of the capital Bratislava. The news of the attack on the 59-year-old leader has left the nation in disbelief and raised concerns about the safety and stability of the country. The shooting incident, which occurred during a meeting with supporters, has left Fico in a life-threatening condition prompting an outpouring of support and condemnation from political leaders, both domestically and internationally. The details surrounding the attack are still emerging, but reports indicate that FICO sustained multiple gunshot wounds and was swiftly transported to a hospital for urgent medical treatment. The gravity of the situation was underscored by Defense Minister Robert Kalanak, who described FICO's injuries as severe and confirmed that the Prime Minister was undergoing extensive surgery to address the trauma inflicted by the attack. The shocking nature of the incident has left the country reeling, with citizens and officials alike grappling with the implications of such a brazen act of violence against a prominent political figure. As the nation awaits updates on FICO's condition and the investigation into the motives behind the attack, questions loom over the potential impact on Slovakia's political landscape and the broader implications for democracy and governance in the country. Fico, a divisive and polarizing figure known for his populist and nationalist rhetoric, has been at the center of numerous controversies and has faced criticism for his handling of various issues during his tenure as prime minister. The attack on Fico has prompted an outpouring of support and solidarity from political leaders across the spectrum, with President Zuzana Kaputova condemning the violence and emphasizing the need for unity and respect in the face of such senseless acts. The international community has also expressed shock and concern over the incident, with leaders from neighboring countries and beyond offering their thoughts and prayers for FICO's recovery. The circumstances surrounding the shooting, including the identity and motives of the perpetrator, remain unclear, adding to the sense of uncertainty and unease gripping the nation. The swift response from law enforcement and the government to apprehend the suspect and launch an investigation into the incident is a testament to Slovakia's commitment to upholding the rule of law and ensuring accountability for acts of violence. As the situation continues to unfold and more details come to light, the focus remains on FICO's recovery and the implications of the attack for Slovakia's political future. The resilience and unity of the Slovak people in the face of adversity, will be crucial in navigating the challenges ahead and reaffirming the country's commitment to democracy, peace, and stability. In conclusion, the shooting of Prime Minister Robert Fico has cast a shadow over Slovakia and raised profound questions about the nature of political discourse, security, and governance in the country. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of democracy and the need for unity and resilience in the face of adversity. As the nation grapples with the aftermath of this tragic event, the hope for healing, justice, and a renewed sense of purpose remains paramount in shaping Slovakia's path forward.